7 y 4 noticias. And, well, I heard Now What and it's an amazing album. One of my favorite songs is It's Uncommon Man because I think it's full of improvisation. And uh, am I right? I, I just like uh, just like the Deep Purple of, of 70s. And how was the work with Bob Ezrin? It was great. <laughs> he, uh, he really brought like, a whole different kind of energy. You know, we've, we've uh, traditionally always kind of produced ourselves, um, although we've had a couple of other producers along the way. But Bob uh, saw something in us that, uh, that uh, he brought it out of us. He said, you know, what you do on stage is not just do songs. You, you, you play and you transform them and you have a lot of spontaneity. And that's what he wanted to capture in the studio. And Uncommon Man actually is one of those uh, great moments because he said, I'll tell you what, let's do an intro to something. Uh, I'll turn the red light on and just start. And that's exactly what happened. Steve started, Don joined in, Casey joined in, it's just one take. Yeah, it was only ever played once and it was these two guys just working out what needed to happen. Um, that's, that takes some pretty good musicians to do that. Bueno, se preguntó acerca de cómo habían sentido trabajar con Bob, ¿cierto? Eh, sí. And about improvisation, the new album, is that energy? Uncommon Man. Yeah, that became Uncommon Man, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bueno, y él dijo que Bob vio algo diferente en ellos, una energía que tenían en el stage, y que eso fue lo que él quiso capturar en este álbum. You'll hear it at the show anyway. De cualquier forma, eso lo van a vivir en el concierto. It's a big secret. Hi, my name is Mario from Reforma Newspaper. So I would like to know how, uh, what can we expect about your show in Mexico, and what's your opinion about music, uh, rock music scene, the actual rock music scene? I have to ask Thank you, me. what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> We know what we're going to do, kind of, <laughs> but uh, it's you know it's one of the two favourite questions we get asked. What can we, what can the audience expect, and what do we think of new music? And they're very difficult to answer because there's no real answer to it. You know, there's new music, there's new music, there's some great musicians around, there's some crap around, and guess what? It was always like that. You I know? can give an answer though. At this concert, we'll do some classic tunes that everybody knows, some album tracks from the classic era that maybe everybody doesn't know, but they should if they have the albums. And we'll do some new tunes from the latest album, mostly, and we'll do some uh, solo improvisational bits. Bueno, vamos por la última pregunta. Rogelio Matamoros de Atmosferas Magazine. Estoy seguro de que esto es mera casualidad, pero Deep Purple tocó por primera vez en México en noviembre de 1994, es decir, hace 20 años. Y aquí en México se dio el debut de Steve Morse con la banda. Estaban ellos en el entendido de que estaba por comenzar la etapa, la etapa con una alineación más larga en la carrera de Deep Purple y la más productiva. So he thinks this may be a coincidence because the first show in Mexico was in November 1994, 20 years ago. Oh, it was your debut in Mexico. Yeah, the debut in Mexico, yeah. And he's asking about Steve Morse. Uh -huh. Les pregunto si estaban ellos conscientes de que estaba por comenzar la etapa más larga y productiva dentro de la banda. Were you conscious that it was about to start the, the stage with more production? of the band with more exit? I'm not sure that we were conscious at all, actually. <laughs> you know, it's a, it was a, a kind of a big turning point because as much as Don brought a new energy into the band when he joined, Steve did exactly the same thing 20-something years ago. And uh, I remember being asked at that first press conference, in no uncertain terms, why we weren't seeing Richie Blackmore. Mm -hmm. Well, simple answer to that is because he didn't want to come to Mexico. So, 
you got Steve. And Steve actually brought that same kind of energy that Don brought. It was a turning point. And uh, actually probably one of the happiest albums we've ever made, Perpendicular. And it started right here. Que el álbum que empezaron aquí ha sido uno de los álbumes que más felicidad les han dado, pero que cada de nuevo cada integrante le ha agregado como su parte para hacer que esto funcione. Gracias.